to have a silent and efficient running of the engine and thus lower fuel consumption, the engine must run smoothly. One way to achieve this is having a certain amount of radial clearance of the crankshaft and connecting rods. Glico Plastic Gauge is a thin plastic strip and easy to use for measuring the radial clearance. There are different sizes of plastic gauge. You have the green, the red and the blue one. Each of them representing a specific thickness. You can find the range on the package. To be able to judge if the clearance is within specification, you need the minimum and maximum manufacturer values. According to the manufacturer values, you choose the right size of plastic gauge. Then remove the main bearing cap. Make sure to put it back later on in the same position as you removed it. Clean the surface of the crankshaft and the bearing. And put a small strip of plastic gauge which equals the width of the bearing surface in cross direction of rotation and install the main bearing cap back. Tip, use a little bit of grease to hold the plastic gauge in place. Another tip, spray the bearing with silicone to prevent the plastic gauge from sticking to the bearing. What exactly happens in between the main bearing cap and the journal with the plastic gauge? Let's have a look. Now, two important things. One, to have a correct measure, you must apply the manufacturer Titan torque values. So use a torque wrench. Two, do not turn the crankshaft, as with that, the plastic gauge will be spread around the bearings everywhere and you cannot read the correct value anymore. Next step is to remove the main bearing cap again and measure the deformed plastic gauge with the scale on the paper. Be careful to use the correct side of the paper. One is in inches, the other one in millimeters. The one which equals the most is the measured value. Is it within specification? No need to replace the bearing. Too much clearance? Adjust the clearance by using oversized bearings. Last step. Clean the crankshaft and the main bearing cap before you install it again and put some new oil on the bearing. Again, Use the manufacturer torque values and fit all together. This movie shows the measurement of radial clearance of the main bearing. The same procedure applies to the measurement of connecting rod radial clearance. So when using Glico Plastic Gauge to measure radial clearance, the engine will run smoothly. This results in a more silent, efficient running of the engine and thus lower fuel consumption for the customer and therefore saves him money. You can find more information on our YouTube channel and our campus site www.fmcampus.eu